Well, it's been a long time since I found a scarlet king snake in the neighborhood. And I don't think I've ever seen this one. That is a really cool looking pattern right here where the band is broken up. And it's not just once, it's twice. It also looks like it has a yellow spot on its cheek, which I don't think I've ever seen on one before. Super cool. And it's a pretty decent sized one too. The last one we found in our neighborhood was a little baby. You gonna bite my fingers? He's looking at my dad right now, but man, I love these guys. Super colorful one too. I found it a couple houses away from mine, but I guess we'll release it around here where it's safer. Hey, there he goes. I just did this to try it. You done? Okay. <laughs> I'm a sucker for pain, what can I say? <laughs> it's been a while since I got bit by a Scarlet King. You gotta do it every once in a while. Right, guys? <laughs> All right, this is a nice spot to release the Scarlet King. I think this is the most defensive one I've ever seen. I don't want you to go that way. I want you to go this way. Grab the fence. There you go. You'll be a lot safer over there, trust me. You have to be kidding me. I found another one and it's a baby. I was looking at a gecko on the fence, ow. That's a kind of sensitive spot, could you not? At least the other guy did it on a, ow, okay, you know what, hold on. You stop that. You can bite me, but bite me somewhere less sensitive. Anyway, um, yeah, we found a baby Scarlet King snake, maybe 15 minutes after the big one. Can you let go, please? Seriously? And the last baby I did, or I caught, did the exact same thing. There you go. Good boy. You can kind of see his uh, white bands are just starting to turn yellow. So that's nice. But uh, that's the second night this year that we found two Scarlet King snakes in our neighborhood. See, that's a nicer spot. Doesn't hurt as much. Now I can get a good look at your little face. I love Scarlet Kings. I don't know what it is with uh, them coming out at the same night or if we're just getting randomly lucky. I'm gonna have to check as well to make sure this isn't the same baby that we found a few months ago. It's got a pretty distinct white spot that you can see on the other side of its body. So I'll, I'll check, but I'm pretty sure this is a different one because I would imagine the other one would have got bigger than this by then. But we'll see. If he is the same one, I'll uh, mention it here. All right, it's time to release this little baby. See that white marking? I gotta have to check. We'll see if, you're, if he's a different guy. I love finding Scarlet Kings in my neighborhood. It never gets old. I'm gonna release you where I released the big one, where you should be safe. Can you give me one last nibble? <laughs> Hope you're safe out there. I just caught a juvenile eastern fence lizard. You can see he's got a tiny little bit of blue, but not a whole lot. And he's closing his eyes because I think he's scared. It's okay, buddy. There you go, bro. That's where I found you. So that first fence lizard was under this piece. And then I looked over to this piece and found a slightly smaller one. This one doesn't have any blue yet. So it's probably like too young to show it, even if it is a male. Oh, look at you being all scary, bud. You're going to be a fierce predator when you grow up. I already know it. You're so cute. All right, here you go. Well, I flipped this one and there was a bunch of greenhouse frogs that got away, but there's also a southern toad. Hey, buddy. I don't see you guys undercover super often. Nice dark coloration to help them blend in with this stuff. I'll put your cover on and then I'll let you go, buddy, okay? Well, it took a little bit of flipping, but I found a greenhouse frog. Much larger one than the little guys that were next to that toad that I missed. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen a greenhouse frog at this property before. And I also don't know if I've ever seen a greenhouse frog that's this large. <laughs> They're a very small species, but it's a decent size. Anyway, there you go, buddy. And right after that greenhouse frog, I caught this nice looking cricket frog. 
I don't show them off on the channel very often, but this is one of the larger ones I've seen and it's got a pretty nice looking pattern. So we'll let you go. Look at that guy, king of the stump. It's a pretty male fence lizard. I don't think I'll be able to catch him, but he seems intent to just kind of sit here. Let's see if I can grab him. Nope. Well, next night, I found a Florida brown snake in my neighborhood. And after seeing a couple of these guys on the roads that I road cruise on, I've realized that they're very skinny on those roads. The ones in my neighborhood are always consistently thick, like they're very well fed. These species typically eat slugs and worms, and I guess there's not a whole lot of that wherever I find them on the roads, but my neighborhood seems to have a bunch of them. Anyway, this guy was pooing all over me, so thanks for that. But I'll, I'll let him get off the road. Well, first snake of the night is a little baby eastern rat snake. I found three of them this year, but still no baby corn snakes. I have to work on that. But yeah, he's a little dude. Oh. Can I lift you up, little guy? I need to get you across the road. Oh, he's cold. He's really skinny. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, go pick a spot, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go get this cute little rat snake out of here. And maybe, just maybe, we can find a baby corn snake. You're so fragile. There you go, bud. No, don't go back. There you go. Stay in there. Let's take a look at this little guy. Brown snakes seem to be all over the place at this time of year. I don't know why. This is a much nicer looking one on the road that we actually road cruise on. And I was just saying that for whatever reason they seemed like they were skinny, but this one is certainly not skinny. And it's even like defensive. Like, are you actually gonna bite me? Probably not. You're, you're a brown snake. I can't imagine you'd actually do it. I'll get you across the road, buddy. It's nice to, nice to see a healthy one on the road for a change. I think it was going this way. Come on, you can go, buddy. It's okay. I just got done road cruising and it looks like I picked up a straggler. My car is green and there's a green tree frog on it. Hi buddy. I don't think you're supposed to be here but you guys are always welcome in my yard. So, welcome. Alright, here's your new home buddy. I even found you a little friend. 